It looks like bachical, but it's pronounced bacuccio. Today's video is all about this amazing ingredient and why you should be swapping it out for your retinol. Bacuccio is a safe, natural alternative to retinols. And if you're somebody that's using a retinol, you might not even know what it does. But Bacuccio and retinol, they work the same. They stimulate fibroblast cells. Fibroblast cells are responsible for collagen synthesis. Now, an interesting thing about collagen is we start losing 1% a year between the ages of 25 and 30. So think about aging and what your skin looks like in your 40s. You start to notice more wrinkles and sagging skin. That's because this whole time you've been losing collagen. And you can never, ever create new collagen, but you can strengthen the collagen you do have. And that's where fibroblast cells come in. So your retinol and your bacuccio, that's going to keep those fibroblast cells strong. And think about it this way. Collagen is like the foundation of our house. So if you have a house that's like cracked and crumbling and your foundation's cracked and crumbling and you try to build on top of that, what's going to happen? Everything's going to crumble. So fibroblast cells are like strengthening the foundation of your house. So that way, when you do the rest of your skincare routine, the house stays sound and safe. So I did some research because I love geeking out over the skin and Bacuccio is a really cool ingredient. And I will put a link to Wikipedia below so you can check that out. Bacuccio, it's an it's been used in India for thousands of years. It's also been used in traditional Chinese medicine. So this is how they used to heal people. And I'm not even gonna attempt to say the plant name because I know I'm gonna badger it. So I'll let you do your research and look it up instead. But it's an antioxidant. It's antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. So not only does it stimulate fibroblast cells and help with aging, but it helps with acne, rosacea, and any skin inflammation as well. So it's a real powerhouse of an ingredient. And like I said, it's been used for thousands of years. Did some research, and I'm going to pull up this study for you. There was a double-blind study, which was a 12-week study done on 44 patients. They either applied Bacuccio or retinol, and they took pictures of their skin before they started, and then at the 4, 8, and 12-week mark. And then Afterwards, they had a board-certified dermatologist assess the patient's skin. The results, Bacuccio and retinol both significantly decreased wrinkle surface area and hyperpigmentation, which is your dark spots, with no statistical difference between the compounds. The retinol users reported more facial skin scaling and stinging. So for those of you who have used retinol, you know how red, irritated, and your skin burns, itches, and it peels. So if you're using Bacuccio, you're not having those side effects, but you're getting the same results. So the conclusion was that their study demonstrated Bacuccio is comparable with retinol in its ability to improve photoaging, which is sun damage, and is better tolerated than retinol. Bacuccio is promising as a more tolerable alternative to retinol. So that's huge. It's an awesome ingredient. And I've actually been using it on my skin since November. And so if you're new to Skin Deep or you've never really seen my videos before, one thing about me is I've been an esthetician 20 years and I love my peptides. I've been using those religiously for years, but I'm also in my mid forties. So I'm always looking for something more. And I had been thinking about using a retinol, but since I have a more natural approach to the skin, Retinol just doesn't re resonate with me. And I've been hearing about Bacuccio more and more. And so I've been doing some research because I'm a total skin nerd and that's what I do. I found this product, which was recommended to me by an esthetician friend of mine. It's called Melatonic. And when I test products out on myself, I don't tell anybody and I wait. And it's funny because I'm always assessing my skin. I take pictures and I'm modifying or monitoring my results. And after about a month, clients started asking me, they're like, what are you doing different to your skin? It looks different. It looks better. Like it's got a different glow to it. And so then of course, you know, I have to tell them what I'm using. So then I brought, I bought a couple sample or not samples. I bought a couple 
for them to try and everybody loved it. So what I ended up doing in February is launching this line. So now I carry another line, which this is the star ingredient of the show. Um, the clients are loving it. And the one thing about it is like, if you've used a retinol before, you know, your skin gets red, irritated, and it takes a long time to get used to it. And I don't like the getting used to anything. There should be no reason. Like our skin is an organ and we should just be putting nourishing ingredients on it. This is an amazing ingredient. It comes from a plant and it has no irritating side effects. So I will put a link to the case study, the Wikipedia, and also to the melatonic below. Now, the one thing I want to say before I close today is when you're trying a new product, most people give up after a week or two. They're like, oh, my skin got irritated or, oh, I started breaking out. Here's the thing about trying new products, because with Bacuccio, you're stimulating your fibroblast cells. Collagen is in the dermis of our skin, which is the deepest layer of our skin. It's protected by the epidermis, which I can talk about at a later time, but you're not going to see instant results. And in this day and age of instant gratification and instant results, you're not going to get that with this ingredient. You have to be patient and you have to wait. Your skin has to go through a full cell cycle that can take between four to four to eight weeks, depends on your skin. For me, clients noticed at four weeks, but I've seen some clients that it's taken a full eight weeks for your skin to start to show results. So I want to encourage you to be patient and know that everything's happening. It's like planting a seed. You plant a seed and the next day there's no plant there. It takes time for the root to start to, or for the seed to start to get roots and then the plant to come up to the surface. So that's how this product works with the skin. You are not going to get instant results. So if you're an instant gratification person, this ingredient is not for you. And again, thank you for watching. If you have questions about Bacuccio, retinols, or ingredients in general, feel free to comment in the section below and I will respond to your questions or comments. And don't forget hit the subscribe button and like our channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll be back next week with another video.